Hey guys, Brian delivers you the goods here. Just thought I'd return to you for this uh, quick review. Uh, I don't know how long this review is going to be, but it's for uh, Zach D Productions' series, the X-Ray series. So I'm going to discuss what I watched for all six parts to Zach D Productions' X-Ray series, his film series, and let you know my thoughts on his overall six part videos of x-ray so let's dive into this uh review now basically with what i watched i think the first part was interesting i mean sure it seemed a little un i felt a little unsure about how i felt with watching it but as i progressed through the series it got more interesting i mean granted you're not gonna get the best cgi work or whatever when you're starting off making films but at least he's putting effort into trying to take a risk and see how it fares uh his series work and that's what i respect about zach and his film series work because they are really interesting stories and uh basically uh the dialogues there with the stories um action wise it's solid um, and I was really interested to see Andrew Bebe in this, uh, basic series and all that, and Junebug Films was in this as well, but I was interested in the characters, like X-Ray, Raymond, uh, Salazar, um, what else, um, Gregory, and many others as well the doctor played as uh who plays the doctor is andrew Bebe, and junebug films plays a sniper towards the end of the the last part of the series or something like that i think it's part five or six it was somewhere around there it was the last part i think if i remember correctly but it was a good series it was pretty good i think it was his best uh, Zach D Productions' best series that I've seen. I mean, granted, it's not going to be top-of-the-notch action scenes, but at least he made it interesting enough to make it entertaining with the dialogue. That's what I will give 10 out of 10 for, is the dialogue and the storylining of how he wants to not be part of the x-ray force or whatever it's called and he f basically turns on those salazar in them and then salazar just can't leave him alone and sends hitmen out to his house and all that to try to kill him and then it just ends in with all of them dying basically so pretty much the ending was interesting i was like hmm pretty swift ending for sure so uh pretty much if i were to give this a score i'd give it an 8 out of 10 for this series it's a good series for sure i mean there's a few critiques i have with this series like the action scenes were solid uh, just how it was performed i guess is the one thing you're not gonna really uh, that's what i appreciate about zach he's not afraid to take risks when it comes to uh, putting together film, photography stuff and all that. And the action sequences were slightly interesting from time to time. But there were a few moments where I was like unsure. Like, okay, this seems a little comedic, but okay. And not to be a dick about it, it's just, that's just my opinion. But it's overall a good series. And it's probably his best. Uh, to this day um i have to check out his other series work for sure to see what i think of those but this is probably my favorite so far so eight out of ten for uh x-ray uh zach d productions is film series i actually got to watch all six parts last night i uh, was very invested towards the end of it um i was like hmm, what's gonna happen so it ended pretty interesting and with a lot of people dying <laughs> so yeah so with that being said
thanks for watching this uh, review for Zach D Productions' film series X-Ray. I just thought I'd support a friend for um, his series work because he supports my channel in many ways and I try to support his channel in many ways just to show appreciation. So, I mean, I'll have a few critiques with some of his series work, but overall, this was a good series for sure. I was really invested in it and sure, sure you're not going to get the top of the line action scenes but it is his best work so 8 out of 10 for this series thanks for watching uh this review for x-ray have a good rest of your afternoon